Oh, is this it? Yes, this is it, guys. We found it. What's up guys, how's everybody doing today? Today I am running a little bit late getting up to the mountain. I'm at Brighton and it is packed here today. There's like a million people in the parking lot and on the way up here, traffic came to a standstill like 20 minutes before we even got here. It took forever to get to the parking lot because there's a line of cars going all the way down to Solitude, which is pretty far. Anyway, we're here now. And I thought maybe today I'd try to venture into the woods and find the same spot that I found last year. And when I say the spot, I mean the spot. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, Jeremy Jones, JP Walker, and a bunch of other pros have a semi-secret spot. I came here last year for the first time in February and I stumbled upon it by accident, basically. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. I don't think I will show you guys how exactly to get there because I don't want to blow it up. That wouldn't be cool. But last time I was there, there was nobody else there. So maybe that'll happen this time and we can get away from the crowds. It's a beautiful day. It's a little bit cold, a little bit windy, but that's another good reason to get into the trees because it should be less wind. Also guys, I finally got my new GoPro replacement. If you've been watching the last couple videos, I mentioned that I've had a lot of problems with the Hero 7 having bugs where it would freeze up and a whole bunch of other issues. Anyway, I've been waiting for like a week and a half to get a replacement and I finally got it. So hopefully today will go a little bit smoother. There was also a software update, so hopefully that fixes some of the bugs as well. Since I got a brand new GoPro 7 again, I figure I might as well make a video on the best settings to use while snowboarding. So keep an eye out for that video, that'll be coming out really soon. We're on the right track, guys. Yeah, I recognize this. I'm not sure, guys. There was a fork back there, and I think I might have zigged when I should have zagged. the heel side edge. Oh. oh, is this it? Yes, this is it guys, we found it. found it and we're the only ones here. I saw a couple riders headed that way when we pulled up, but they're gone. So we got the place to ourselves now. So tight. This down rail looks a little gnarly, but I think I can do a backside board slide on it. I've done a backboard on a down rail about this size before. It's been a while though, but I'm definitely not gonna touch that down flat down kink rail. That's beyond my scope right now. It's also pretty warm over here and it's like flat light city, so I'm gonna lose the goggles and the jacket.
<laughs> With this board slide, I'm trying to come at a little bit of an angle. You can tell by my tracks. And as I get right about here, I'm opening my shoulders to point the board up here. My legs kind of follow. And then I really want to get that counter rotation going so I can get the board completely sideways. And by counter rotation, I mean I want my shoulders parallel with the rail and my board perpendicular with the rail, if that makes sense. Right now I'm trying to do 50-50 to 180 off, both backside and front side. And I need to make sure I'm completely centered getting onto the rail because if I'm off at all, I won't make it all the way to the edge of the rail. And once I get towards the end of the rail, I want to start slowly turning my shoulders and then hop as I come off the edge and my legs will follow around. The same goes for front side and back side. As I'm getting towards the edge of the rail, I want to slowly start to turn my shoulders and then Ollie and my legs will come around and follow my shoulders and then hopefully I'll land right away. After I land, I'm trying to do just a little revert so I come back around regular up to the quarter pipe and then I'm just trying a 180 on and a 180 off. Got it guys, more or less first try. I actually had a couple tries off camera, so it wasn't first try, but it was the first try with the camera rolling. So that's gotta count for something, right? <laughs> oh man, this has been so awesome. It's so peaceful when there's nobody else here. And it's like minus five with the wind chill out on the rest of the mountain. But here it's peaceful. I'm wearing a long sleeve tee and <sighs> couldn't be more grateful. I hope to come back here more throughout the season, guys, and hopefully get a little bit better. And also, hopefully, not interfere with any pros that are here. But so far, I've been here twice in the past year, and I've been the only one here except for a couple of casual riders coming and going. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. I definitely want to come back here. This was a ton of fun. It took me a while to get the nerve up to try the down rail, I'm not going to lie. But I'm so glad I did because it was a lot of fun. As I said earlier, make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to talk about the best settings to use for snowboarding for the GoPro Hero 7 and 6 actually. I hope you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. No matter where you're watching this from. And you guys know the drill. Keep progressing in whatever it is you're doing. Hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave a comment. And I will see you guys in the new year. Alright.